What up everybody, it's your boy Young Fizz and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are working inside of Logic X, but this is a tutorial on machine and I wanna go ahead and show you guys how I use machine as a plugin inside of Logic X and let the two work in conjunction with each other. And I um, just wanna show you guys how I pretty much crafted the beat as well. So this is a two-in-one tutorial um, and let's go ahead and get right into it. So without further ado, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button because this is definitely good content and I have a lot more on the way that you don't want to miss in the future. All right, so as promised, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the machine first and let's go ahead and hit my little info button here and we're gonna go up to the machine track. So I went ahead and used machine as an insert. So to do that, you can come over to the mixer view, make sure you're on the input here. You, there's gonna, it's going to be blank, but what you would want to do is click here, go down to your AU Instruments, look for Native Instruments, and simply click Machine. Um, you can have two options, either as a stereo, which is left, right, or you can have multiple outputs, which is you got up to 16 in stereo, or mono tracks that you could also use. So um, the luxury with the 16 track option is if you want to track out your beats, you have more control over your kick, clap, drums, pads, whatever that you have inside a machine. So what am I using inside a machine today? Let's go ahead and take a look by opening it up. All right. So like I told you guys before, I am a big machine head. I like to do a lot of stuff in machine, but there's just certain things that I don't do, which is, you know, take advantage of the auto recording inside a machine or, you know, doubling up on my work taking sounds from logic and then importing them into machine so what do i do i just use machine as a drum machine and so in this case i'm actually using uh it as a drum machine here so as you can see this is highlighted here so it's not going to be delayed when i hit the pads just want to make sure this is selected here all right so what am i doing with some of the plugins inside a machine let's go ahead and take a look i got my clap here so I'm pretty much using the EQ. As you can see, it's already on the screen there. And then I'm using my compressor, which I have there. I'm scroll over here. So I have my EQ, I'm using my compressor. Same thing for the hi-hat. I have my EQ and then I have my compressor there. The open hat sounds good. Um, we can change the polyphony to one. I don't see why there's re any reason to have any more than that. Same thing for the kick. We can change that down to one. And we're going to leave that alone there, go back there, change that polyphony down to one. That means that there's one sound playing at a time. It's not going to overlap each other. So I like to kind of do that for the drums so they're not, you know, sounding, you know, weird. And same thing for the hi-hat. I just want to, since it's going to be a straight pattern there, and then the 808, we're going to have that already down to one. All right, so that sounds cool. All right, so let's go ahead and play what's inside a machine as is. So... I'm going to go ahead and solo this up here and let's take a listen. And we're going to start at bar 25. And that is uh, basically how you use machine as a plugin inside of Logic X. So as promised, I'm going to go ahead and break down the beat. That is everything that the machine is doing inside of uh logic x here all right so let's go ahead and come down here and look at some of the instruments that i'm using inside of logic and why i chose to make this make this beat in logic instead of machine um, first i wanted to use this new plugin called alchemy which comes with logic x as well it's like a stock plugin and i just want to test the waters with it and this is what i came up with with the patch here Ooh. yeah yeah yeah, that sounds dope. That's why I used it. All right, so I got this pluck here, which is pretty dope. And it's like a deep pluck. And again, I'm using Alchemy because that's the whole purpose of, you know, making this beat. I wanted to try this plug plugin called Alchemy. And I found these dope sounds. So let's listen to what that sounds like. Let's listen to it dry. Take off the reverb. Take off the spread. Sounds kind of dope. Sounds better with the spread though. Let's add the spread back. Let's see what it's doing. Okay. Yeah. Sounds dope. Overdrive. Add that saturation distortion. Let's rewind it back. Hit 25 again. Let's add that reverb back in there. Very light. 
together. Yeah, yeah. Woo. The beat is sounding good already, so let's add some more finesse to it. I went ahead and added bells too. Stepped away from alchemy and added omnisphere. Another one of my favorite plugins. Going, uh, you know, getting used to omnisphere and kind of going through it. Omnisphere, it's definitely worth it, guys. If you guys haven't checked out this uh, plugin, make sure you guys check it out. All the producers use it. All the hottest producers use it. Um, it has a lot of sounds. I, I I've owned this plugin for over a year, and I'm still having, you know, I still haven't gone through every sound that there is to go through. It just takes a lot of time, you know. Y of course, you're gonna establish your favorites like I have too. But let's see what Omnisphere is doing here at any rate. So let's take off the tremolo, play it soloed. Just little bell stabs. Add the tremolo to give it some movement. Left to the right ear, left to the right, right to the left. All right, and then in the chorus or the hook, I added this little pluck here. So let's go ahead and play it at uh, 33 here. Again, I'm using Omnisphere and this little patch right there. All right, so let's play those instruments all together and let's see what that sounds like. And these are the vocals down here, but I'm not gonna play those for you guys today. Just use it as a reference to how the rap, the rhyme or rap should go. Um, and that is pretty much the beat. So let's go ahead and play everything together, including what machine is doing as the plug in here. We're going to pull that back up. And as you can see, I like to uh, label things in machine as well. So I can kind of know where I'm at. So let's go ahead and play everything. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Give me the bag. Hey. Rock and Fendi. Yeah. Prada. Yeah. Let's go. Came up from nothing, yeah. Now I'm something, making something, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's how to rap, you know, kind of, kind of go right there. Um, I hope you guys learned something from this tutorial. It's your boy Young Fizz. I want to thank everybody for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You can find me on Instagram, Mr. Dope Status. Check out my beat store. Hit the um, like button. Leave your comments down below. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. It's your boy Young Fizz, and we are out.